Okay, guys, so today's video, I'm going to be doing, um, like, I'm going to try to take, like, this blue stain off of the shirt. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, yeah, you can. Um, so, pretty much, I wanted to sublimate on the shirt, which I did, and I did a Mickey Mouse Gucci thing. But, um, when I was trying to sublimate it, like, I put, like, a towel underneath which i didn't think the towel was gonna stain the shirt and i put it underneath and then i put that little pad inside so that um the sublimation could come out nicely right so i did not realize that it was gonna stain my shirt um and so i have to like figure out a way to try and uh remove this like nasty blue stain on it i mean it looks cute and all like it'll be kind of like a sky blue type of thing going on there but look how it looks like you could totally see like the lining of the mat right there of the pressing mat that i have so yeah guys anyways we're gonna try to remove this stain i uh came across a video on youtube i don't remember what it was called but I'll tell you the ingredients this person used. I can't say a he or she because I couldn't see their face. All I did was see their hands and the stuff they used, which is pretty much like household items. So this person like pretty much used um, hot water. They um, used uh, hydro peroxide. They used baking soda and they used bleach. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and test this out. I don't have hydroperoxide, so I went to I'm just gonna go ahead and use um, Vinegar, so hopefully it might work the same. I'm not 100% sure if it will um, But we're gonna test this out period like we're gonna see if this actually works and it said it was for like, you know stains that are like um, Get stained when you're like washing different type of colored clothes and you know that happens but this was not what happened. <laughs> it's totally different, but I feel like it's the same the same concept because the towel bled onto the shirt. So I already flipped it inside out. Um, I feel because like that's where the blue is literally at. And clearly you can see it a lot more um visibly now that I flipped it inside out. So we're gonna work on this together and we're just gonna go for it and see. What happens? I mean, what do we have to lose, right? So, I'm gonna lay this shirt out here and I will be showing you guys what I am doing. So, let me go ahead and flip you guys down. Okay guys, so right here we have our shirt, which I will show you guys how I'm gonna be doing it after. Um, when I'm doing it, I'll you know, bring you guys down. But I have hot water here, I have vinegar, I have baking soda, and I have the bleach. This person did not show um, like any measurements or anything. So I'm gonna just kind of going to eyeball it like she did. Or he did. I don't know. Why do I keep saying she? Maybe because I feel like it's a woman that's doing it. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> let's pour some bleach in there. It looks like she put a good amount of bleach. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Got her bleach in there. Then... She added some baking soda, so let's add a spoon of baking soda. Whoa. Or did she do the hydro peroxide first and then baking soda? Huh. Maybe she did vinegar first. Not vinegar, she didn't have vinegar. Because I know it was sizzling after. And you know what, I'm just going to put the baking soda first. And I'm not going to put the spoon in there because it has bleach. Sir, let's put the spoon, spoon to the side before I do something crazy. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the vinegar. Ooh, it's sizzling. I think that should be enough. Whoa, Lord have mercy. Oh, <laughs> it's like science, you guys. It was like a science experiment. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna be over here trying to get something to mix this up with. Got me a little 
plastic little spoon yeller. And then, sorry, my kids are back there playing, and one must have got hurt. He's also not feeling good because he has like a really bad cold and has like a lot of mucus built up. Um, but once I'm finished with this, then I'll give him the little attention he needs. Okay, you guys, so it looks pretty clear and hers or his or hers, whatever, it didn't look like this. It looked more white. Should I just try it, y'all, or should I just add a little bit more? You know what? I'm going to add a little bit more baking soda for some reason. I feel like I should, but maybe that's why her, his or hers. I don't know why I keep saying her, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me just stop calling her. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's just forget it. Keep going. Okay, maybe that's better. That's kind of what it looks like. See, but then it, like, it dissolves and then it turns clear. Child, I don't know. Y'all, let's just test this. Whatever you see me do, and if it works, just follow what I just did. Eyeball stuff. I mean, I don't know how else to tell you to do this. I'm learning barely myself how to do this because the person did not give no specific ingredient um, measurements. I was gonna say ingredients. Um, didn't give enough specific measurements anyways you guys i'm not gonna dunk the whole thing because i feel like it's gonna ruin the shirt like completely where you can it's gonna be totally out of the picture which i don't know if might actually it might even go into the picture because once it absorbs into the shirt y'all you know what let's just go for it okay we got this shirt here guys so we're just gonna go and see what happens I'm just gonna dunk a napkin in there. Like, you know, those, not a napkin. You know, those tissue things. Roll of paper type of thing. Anyways, we'll see if it works. Okay guys, so I'll come back in 25 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wash up and then um, I'll show you guys the results after the 25 minutes to see if it actually worked or not. Okay guys, I'm back. I let this thing sit for like over an hour because those 25 minutes were like not really working. So we're gonna go ahead and check this thing out. It literally took off the whole thing. Found it. It looks like it. Here, I'll show you guys. Okay, you guys, this is what is the results like. Make sure you use some gloves. I didn't use in it in like in the beginning. But looks like it took it off. For the most part. It's crazy. Like the sublimation ink didn't even come off of the Mickey Mouse, which is awesome. Um, but I do have like this little stain here, which I don't know where it came from. And it's like kind of like purplish color. So I'm trying to see if, yeah, you can see it definitely through here. But you can totally see like all the blue mainly like came off. Um, I don't really like this part right here. Cause you can totally see i don't know if you guys can see from there or not but like on this area you can see that it's like a purplish color i don't know what to do you guys i think i'm just gonna leave it i'm gonna um rinse this thing out now So as you guys can see, I added Dawn Dish Soap 
just because I don't want to go upstairs and go get the um, laundry detergent. I just, you know, I'm trying to kill the bleach smell out of it. But, um, it looks like it works for the most part. Okay, guys, I think it um, pretty much worked. It took off all of the blue stain that it had so i guess it was like literally Coke two hacks sweet. in one because if you sublimate Coke with the a sweet. sub that's what i Coke used sweet. on a polyester shirt the ink did Coke not is, even budge Coke off of it or anything you guys can see it came out really nice still the only thing that i'm having an issue with is this little like purple line here i don't know what that is and you can still see it through this side um, but for the most part it literally took it off i'll you know flip it inside out so you guys can see that's how it looks I'll probably lay it down on the um, table so you guys can take a better look. And this is how the front of it looks like. I already turned it, you know, back to how it was supposed to do be. Um, yeah. I don't know if the shirt was just like way too thin. Like, I mean, you could literally see through it. Um, and that's why it left that matte crease on there so just be careful when you guys do like sublimate make sure that you have like something that's gonna um pretty much cover the whole shirt so you don't have like that print of the mat from the um heat press on the shirt because i think that's what you literally ruined it um but yeah for the most part i think this came out really nice um, and it did get rid of the stain and then I don't know why that turned purple like I said but it did work and like I said it did not even mess up the sublimation you can totally see really nice